Okay, hold on. I think the biggest change that we need to make is right here. We worked the bison for the first time here at the Cross Timbers Farm. Everything went pretty well. Minus uh, two of them uh, may have got out right here of the head gate, but we've got it pinned off so they got kind of stuck in here. Got to make some a couple adjustments. We got to change height on a couple of gates here, wherever it is. Um, we've got to do a couple little things uh, just to beef up the handling system. Um, but other than that, it went pretty well for the first time uh, working our bison. The alley system worked really good. Um, Doc, um, the vet, Doc Parsons, the bison guy I always talk about, came over and he, um, we gave the bison their vaccinations. We wormed them. Um, remember, there's no hormones. We do not give bison hormones or any extra supplements. Um, to beef them up or anything or, or to gain muscle okay the bison world does not do that at least we hope they don't and we don't do that so um, usually we just give them some antibiotics and we warm them okay just like cattle uh, just normal stuff like that nothing extra and um, we also pulled hair on our two new heifers uh, that I bought in November the two uh, new quapaw heifers they're going to be two years old this spring we pulled their hair and we're going to register them so i'm excited about that uh, we'll send their hair off and they get it, uh, their dna lineage tested and then we go from there and hopefully get the results uh, back soon and then they'll be registered in the national bison association registry other than that um, i think we're going to have to get a different head gate the head gate was not great. This head gate swivels open like this. It's called a self latch gate, but it's really not self latching. You've got to bring it and latch it here. And it's not the best. A hydraulic squeeze shoot would be the best yes but whew, just look online and see how much those bad boys cost they are expensive and you know we only have 10 bison maybe someday when we have a lot more bison we can have a nice manual or sorry a hydraulic squeeze shoot like doc does and Stratford that you've seen me work before um, but I think the biggest change that we need to make is right here we need a what you call a scissor um, head gate and it's basically where they come down right here you have this half will come down here and this half will come down here at the same time kind of comes to them at you know right here at their neck I think that's gonna be a whole lot better especially um, just from learning what we just went through right here it's taken a lot of work for this handling system Doc actually locked a lot of it. He gave us a lot of good pointers and, and told us some stuff that we could change, but I think he really liked our handling system. Um, you know, make some minor adjustments on the head gate and maybe get a new head gate, raise up some bars on the gates here. Um, but other than that, I think Doc really, um, he had a good time. It was definitely fun. Anytime you work by us, it could get interesting. And today it got definitely a little bit interesting.